Good afternoon, my name is Tim, and uh, this is a little update on my homebrew transmitter uh, that I've been working on diligently for the past couple of years, and it's coming along fairly well. Um, it's actually a assortment of bits and pieces that I've collected over the years. Um, so the last stage will be to strip it all down and um, make it all uniform in color and um, but uh, to start with is the uh, power supply. Uh, right now this only puts out about uh, 1500 volts and uh, that drives the, that's on the plate of um, the 4-1000. Um, above that is my CW exciter and uh, transmitter. Um, it's an 813 um, and uh, just a very typical um, homebrew design that has your oscillator and buffer stage and um, your uh, your amplifier and uh, um, pretty much covers all the bands from uh, 80 through um, 20. Um, then uh, above that is um, just some power supply. Uh, it's a voltage uh, doubler and uh, That provides a thousand volts for the 813 below um, Then above that is the 4-1000 and Above that is the control panel that I have Don't worry about the B plus right now but uh yeah, I figured I'd give a nice video of it running. Um, and uh, the design is based off of the um, article, one of the articles in the AWRL um, AWRL handbooks. Um, I believe it was the one band blockbuster. Um, or one, yeah, or one band kilowatt, um, one of those two articles, but that had the 4-1000, uh, described in it. Uh, so it's a grounded grid amplifier. Um, the input I can select from there with, uh, essentially flip with that switch or... I can patch it into one of my other radios. Um, I have a uh, DX100 or my Jesus that I can tie into it. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it. It's a nice little project. Um, need to. Uh, create a gasket at the bottom just to keep that from vibrating but um, and then uh, the control panel um, is for all the various interlocks um, these buttons were for filament B plus um, power up and down loading tuning um, or I should say tuning loading and then um, that was uh, for just expansion. Uh, all the other LEDs are for interlocks and um, voltage statuses and stuff. Um, and then uh, that's about it. Everything is controlled by a uh, Arduino. Um, if I can get access to it. Arduino and Raspberry Pi. Uh, Raspberry Pi is so that I can uh, create a web interface and control it remotely. Um, and then uh, the Arduino communicates with everything. If I can even open it. There we go. Uh, so we have the Arduino 16 channel uh, relay and um, 
that's pretty much all that consists of there. Some control relays there. And uh, a very nice garage warmer. Thank you.